All right, I haven't done a video in a while and I really wanted to share this one. Uh, never done this before, but this is a solid porcelain vase that I threw and then I added the handles and the top. And what I've done here is I've just lined it with my old junk uh, glaze that I throw in a spare bottle, all the stuff that comes out of my wash buckets. And so I just get a real copper look in there. And the outside of this is, this is obsidian, right here we go. Obsidian, which is a celadon from Amico, C1 obsidian. And this bottom part is ancient copper. Ancient copper PC56. And what I'm gonna do, you see the yellow, that's just the bleed through that thin porcelain. When I lined the inside of it, it kind of yellowed the outside and I made sure it was dried good before I started putting glaze on it. So it still gave it that yellow tint. That's not a glaze. So we've got obsidian and we've got ancient copper. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw some seaweed on there, PC42. And that seaweed's gonna mix with this obsidian, this black. And you usually get some pretty good colors when you do that. And it also gives you a run, kind of like this jar I use back here. If you see that, that is seaweed uh, over the top of ancient copper. And I get a really neat antique look from that. And so I'm hoping that we get some real color up here and then an antique look as it all comes down. And, uh, We'll see. I'll add to this video after it comes out of the kiln, if it, uh, if it worked out, and we'll go from there. So, thanks for watching. All right, so here it is, after I've put the uh, seaweed on top of the obsidian and then ancient copper down here. I'm just gonna show you, this is a pure white solid porcelain base. And so, that's what it looks like put a few drips on the inside. It tends to react colorfully with my my junk mix in there. Kind of gives me some neat stripes and stuff. So anyway, here it is. And then after it comes out of the kiln, uh, we'll take a look at it and see what we've got. All right, here's the finished product. This was our uh, ancient copper on the bottom with obsidian up in here, covered with seaweed. And I did put the seaweed on pretty heavy, so we got that run effect. And here I just pulled it out of the kiln this morning. Pretty excited about it. Sun really reflects off of it. We got a nice shiny finish with a lot of colors. Just can't beat that. Give that one a try. Obsidian from Amico with seaweed over the top. And then we've got our ancient copper on the bottom. Cheers.